Today's video is, as you can probably tell, all about my rucksack and what rucksack I use and what I put inside my rucksack and what I take with me on those adventures. And I've had some great adventures with this wee rucksack for sure. We private beach to myself, look at this. Absolutely glorious. Amazing. From secluded Highland beaches to standing on summits above the clouds, this rucksack seen some pretty fine days out. This video goes through what I've got in my day pack and in my rucksack on day trips. I hope you enjoy it and find it informative, so sit back and enjoy the video. Right, hello folks. Welcome to the Sunday vlog. Something a bit different again today. And as you know from the Sunday vlogs, I usually try and answer some of the questions and queries that I, I've been given over the yeah, over the months and years and one of them was what do I put in my summer backpack or my hill walking rucksack for summer day use, just for a day pack, not for wild camping. So there was a poll I did a few weeks ago and this came so close to uh, winning the poll of which vlog you'd wanted to see so I thought I'd just go ahead and do this vlog anyway and tell you what's inside my day pack for summer hiking which I've got in here. It's the first time I've had it on for a while with all this uh, lockdown malarkey. So let's go, let's do it, let's go through it and see what we've got. The first thing to mention is the backpack itself and this one is uh, I think it's a low alpine, yeah, low alpine ascent, 32 litres as a capacity, so it's a bit smaller. I do tend to use this more in the summer than I do in the winter, although I do, I, I have had it out in the winter uh, for the shorter heights or the day heights in the winter. It's got some nice straps at the side here which take the snowshoes, so you might have seen me with this in the winter. And what I thought I'd do is just go through this and, yeah, from top to bottom and how I pack the bag and what's in my backpack, so let's get cracked on. So first things first, on the side I've got my walking poles, which are just attached to the side via the different clips here. So I'll just take these out to snout and we'll pop them down at the side. If I'm being honest with you, I usually start the walk with the, the trekking poles. I find them extremely useful and they're out most of the time, unless there's any scrambling or climbing involved, in which case they go back on the, the side of the backpack. Um, this backpack has got a slightly different pouch. It's not got a det detachable um, pouch in the top or top top pocket. pocket. It's slightly different, but uh, it works quite nicely. I'll come onto the pouch. I'll do that at the end. But if I just open up, what I usually have in the top, I have things that are easily accessible. So I tend to put the stuff which is easier, uh, which I know that I'll be using more often and getting in and out of the pack. I tend to try and put that at the top of the pack. So things like sandwiches. I've not got sandwiches in here because I'm not going anywhere, but I would usually have my sandwiches uh, on the top. A uh, map, usually put the map on the top there, which is good. Um, and my fleece. Now, depending on the weather, I might actually start off, I might have had this on and it wouldn't be in the pack, but I'm kind of, yeah, maybe assuming it's a nice day today. So the, the fleece is in the top, so it's easily uh, accessible so you can get out and put it on. And it's a bit of a lighter weight fleece, I don't tend to use this one in the winter as much, it's just it's slightly lighter. So I'll pop that down there, next to the map, which is good. Always have a map. I'll come on to the compass and what have you uh, shortly as well, it's quite easily accessible. It's actually in the top of the, the pack. Next up, um, I'll show you what I've got here, I've got a platypus system. So this is, this is what I use. Um, I use this platypus system now. It can be um, there's a number of techniques which I'll maybe do in, a, in another in another another video about using these platypuses in the winter. But they're great in the summer. There shouldn't be any issues. Um, and this holds my water, and it's in the platypus pouch, which is at the the back of the backpack, so it's closest to your back. And they usually say it's better to have any heavier items close to your back or lower down in the backpack so it doesn't wobble about and unbalance you. It's closer to your uh, centre of gravity. So let's just take this platypus system out and I can show you that. So maybe that there. And what this platypus system is, it's, uh, it's called a source wide pack and this one is a litre and a half. No it's not, it's two litres. Always better to have more water than <laughs> 
been running out. And it's a top loading um, platypus, so you put the water in, you basically take this uh, and get it off. Yeah, this bit slides out, and then you can open up the platypus like so. And it's quite, yeah, it's very useful. Uh, you can pour water, when I'm on a wild camp, I can take the water out of the platypus if I've got any excess to put in the in a, in a wee stove to make a coffee, so it's really quite useful. And it's, these, these systems I find are easier to to clean as well, so you can open it up and give it a good scrub. The The system I had before had the, the screw-on seal on the front, and they were great, it worked for, for, for ages, but it was, it was harder to clean it and get water in and out of it. You certainly couldn't pour water out as easy as you can with this. And it was actually, it was when I was on my two-day wild camping trip in Applecross with Tom Heaton, I had my old one, and he had one of these, and he showed me it, and I thought, that's... Uh, that's what I want. I need to get one of those. So I've had that for a few years. I've done a few, uh, <laughs> few bits of DIY on it there, as you can see. But that's uh, that's a platypus. So that goes at the back of the backpack. What else have we got in here? Let's have a look at this. Uh, the next bag within the bag. So what I tend to do is I tend to put a lot of the stuff into com compare. I put into different compartments, and they're in these uh, in these dry bags. This is quite a big dry bag. So this has got quite a bit in it. So. In this one, this tends to sit midway down the backpack. Uh, I've actually got an emergency uh, duvet jacket in there. Let me just see if I can take this out and show you what it is. It compacts down really nice and tight, this one. So it's a great wee jacket. So this is my... So this is my Rab duvet jacket, yeah, which is great. It's in the warm of a stove. If I need to stop or I'm getting cold, I can put this on. It's great. But to be honest with you, that usually sits in the bottom of the pack and very, very rarely gets used because the, the fleece is usually good enough. Depends on the weather, to be honest with you. But that's really good. That comes with me everywhere in the summer and the winter. That's just, I think it's just a Rab lightweight down jacket and as you saw it compacts up really nice and, and tight. What else have I got in this wee bag? Well let me see. You might be surprised I've got a hat. Or maybe you're not surprised. <laughs> we are in Scotland after all but I've got a hat. I've got uh, a number of different types of gloves in here actually. Where are we? I've got these thick winter gloves. I actually take these with me unless I know the weather's definitely going to be really good which isn't often the case and I've got smaller or thinner thinner gloves in there. So still two sets of gloves. Some people might call that overkill, but once again the weather can get a bit um, bit cold in Scotland, even in the summer. and get snow at any time of the year on the tops. Um, these come with me, not, I, I'll be honest with you, not all the time. <laughs> the shades like to be optimistic. If it's sunny, the shades go on. So there's shades in there uh, when the weather's good. If, we know that, if I know that, yeah, I'll come on to this in a wee while, but if I know the weather's not going to be good, there'll be certain things I won't put in. If I know it's going to be a rainy day, the forecast for rain all day, I'll maybe just leave these out. And these also, you might be surprised to see, my goggles, my ski goggles. I still put these in in the summer, because if, if you're going out and it's really windy, and the weather's not great, I still put these on, even in the summer, because my eyes tend to stream really badly in the winter, and I just find these are great. So I might look silly putting the ski goggles on in the... <laughs> middle of the summer, but they are, they are quite useful. So that's what's in this bag. So it's basically, you know, hat, let me pop this on, hat, some gloves. You never know when you need these as well, it'll keep you warm. Um, it's always handy to have hats and gloves. And my ski goggles. <laughs> I just do the rest of the vlog like this. <laughs> no, no, I won't. So let's take these off. So that's what's in that that bag. These are dry bags, so the um, advantage of these, it doesn't, it, not only does it put different bits of your equipment that you've got in your backpack into different compartments so you can find it easier, it also keeps it dry. If it's a wet day, you, the, the dry bags tend to keep the your clothes, your extra clothes, hats and gloves there, keeps them dry, which is, which is great. You can get waterproof covers for the uh, rucksacks, but I don't, don't like those, they're a bit blowy and faffy and can blow away and what have you. So getting towards the bottom of the rucksack, what have we got next? Let's have a look in here. Yeah, so in this bag, I've got a set, it's my waterproofs. I always, always have waterproofs with me. I've got a set of waterproof leggings here. Now, 
the, the waterproof uh, over trousers, I'll, if I know it's going to be raining uh, all day and the weather's pretty rubbish, I'll actually just put on my leggings, my tight like my tights and my waterproof leggings from the start because you've got good venting systems and I've got more summer weight ones. Um, it's the same systems I use in the winter but I've got lighter uh, over over trousers which uh, I'll put on from the start so I maybe don't have the, an extra set in my bag. But I've always, always, always got the waterproof jacket in there and I put it in a, another dry bag there to keep it in its compartment and I know exactly where it is. And that sits towards the bottom of the bag. And then finally right at the bottom of the bag I've just got this. And basically what this is, this is just a, a wee emergency. This is actually just a like a bivy bag I made for one. And uh, depending on if I'm going out myself, you can get smaller and bigger versions of this. That's just a small one man one, but I do have, let me show you, this is a bigger one. This is a, a Van Gogh Storm Shell 400, and if, if you're out in a group or a bigger group, four or five, three, four, five, yeah, this one is better. And you get smaller ones as well for two people. And Jerry's got one which we uh, which we used. Uh, I'm going to put some footage just, just now when we went up a, a hill in the winter. So that you just never know what's going to happen when you're on the hill. So you're always better to be, uh, you know, prepare for the worst and expect the best and all that sort of stuff. You just, you, nobody goes out. <laughs> thinking they're going to be in a an adverse situation uh, so it's always good just to have all that stuff so that's essentially what's in the main body of the bag this this bag doesn't have too many pockets it's got some outer pockets if you wanted to put any drinks if you didn't have a platypus system in there you could you could pop it in there it's quite uh, quite a nice bag it's, it's got nice thick material on the base and on the front so it'll stop any scrapes and what have you so just to finish up I'll tell you what's in the the wee uh, top compartment, so this is easily accessible as well, so sun cream, summertime, Scotland, always need sun cream. <laughs> More importantly, this is some deep tier, but if I'm being honest with you, I usually carry some smidge, but that was out in the car and I couldn't bother to go and get it, go, go out and get it. There's some deet to keep the midges away should you stop. And in a dry bag in the top of the bag, finally, I have in here I have a first aid kit, a basic first aid kit, which has some pain colours in it and some basic bandages and bits and bobs in there. First aid kit in there. What else have I got in here? Head torch. Always have the head torch. In the winter, I actually have two head torches, but yeah, I've got a head torch in there. There we go. Still working at the moment. One thing about head torches is they can sometimes, the, if you press, the, if the button's inadvertently pressed, it's on and you don't know it's on when you're out walking and you pull it out when you need it and the battery's dead. So I actually have a spare, a set of spare batteries within the first aid kit and I've also got, I've got two sets of spare batteries. I've actually got a set there as well. It's a bit battered and bruised now, but still in its original packet. So it's separate and if you if need be, you can change it over. What else have I got in here? <laughs> this is just a wee mosquito net or a midgey net, a smidge one. Could come in handy if you're if you're stopping for lunch. Uh, compass, yeah, compass in here, very easily accessible. It's my compass there, a silver compass, and that gets used with the map. And I have a whistle. Should anything happen, I've actually got a cigarette lighter in there, just in case I want to take up smoking. <laughs> the top of the hill, I don't know why that's in there. Whistle, yeah, emergency whistle in there. And finally, just some spare boot laces. I don't know if you've ever been in the situation where your bootlaces have snapped, but they, that can happen. It also doubles up as, as some cord that could come in handy for, for something if you need it. But I always have some a couple of sets of, or a couple of um, bootlaces in there, which is fine. On the inside of the bag here is just a small pouch, and in there I keep all some an extra. There's <laughs> a galaxy bar there. I don't know how old this is, but just chocolates. There's some you know, mini mini chocolates in there. Just as a backup, once again, should anything anything bad happen. Now, what else do I sometimes take? So that's it. That, that's basically what's in the bag. Hopefully that's been of use, but I've also got this here. This is a wee waterproof pouch. I sometimes take If it's going to be really uh, wet, I'll take that pouch and the phone fits in there. Where's my phone? Oh, the phone's here. So the phone can go in that pouch and it keeps it nice and dry. Most of these phones now do have water repellency. On the phone, I've also got the View Ranger app, 
which is a GPS system as well. Uh, if I'm being honest with you, I'll use that more often now, but I always, always still have the map and compass in the bag. These are these are great. And I also, I didn't put it in because it's charging. I, I do also put a small, um, it's just a small battery uh, charger, you know, one of these rechargeable battery packs, just a small one, which should give this enough charge. It get, I think it has enough charge for two charges of a of an iPhone, which is, or, or the other brands are available, but it does charge up should that die. So I've got that back up uh, in the bag as well. Usually, as I said, it's it's just charging up at the moment. So that's, um, that's essentially it. That's my backpack. Sometimes things might vary depending on the weather. Um, I might... I might have lower trousers on from the start, like I said, or I might take a bigger bag. It's just, I do have different types of bags, but essentially it's, this is for a day trip in the summer in Scotland. I uh, hope, hope that's been useful. If you've got anything you'd like to add, anything else that you guys put in your summer backpack that other people should know about, put it down in the comments below. And if you've got anything else you want me to go through, please just leave a comment in, in the bottom. Yeah, hope you're all safe and well at the moment and until the next time, stay safe and take care.